Hey guys, welcome to my channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture of DevOps series that is lecture number 16. The agenda of this lecture is we will know about POM file for Maven. We will know about the POM, what is POM basically, POM file, what are the mandatory fields of the POM file, what are the minimal requirements to create a POM file and we will also know in brief about the super POM. So let's first understand what is POM file. The abbreviation of POM is Project Object Model. So basically POM is a fundamental unit of work in Maven. Maven project consists of one configurable file called POM.XML. This POM.XML file is always resides in the base directory of any Maven project. All POM files require the project element and three mandatory fields. So basically these are the three mandatory fields that is group ID, artifact ID and version. So these three fields are mandatory when you create a POM file. The minimal requirement for the POM are project, then model version, group ID, artifact ID and version. So project is nothing but a root of XML element of POM file. And modern version is a sub element of project and should should be set to 4.0.0 next one is a group id it is the id of the project group so if you have a project there should be some groups and if the project groups is there then there should be some group id so you have to mention the group id so it is the it is the id of the projects group an artifact is nothing but a name of the project and then version the version of the artifacts under the specified group okay so here is the examples of the uh, pom.xml file so first we will write a project and then model version which said to be 4.0.0 and then group id consider the group id of the project is uh, com.mycompany.app this is the ID of the group and this is the project name of my app and the version is one and finally we will uh, close this project using the XML like this way okay so let's create this POM file okay so what we will do we will create this POM file in a uh, remote repository we will integrate that repository with Jenkins and finally we will execute the uh, this POM file through Jenkins okay so this is the Jenkins uh, uh, first page okay. so we will just uh, uh, create a project first so, but before creating a project we have to check whether the Maven configuration is there or not so just go to manage Jenkins and then manage plugins some plugin is also required because by default uh, they create some plugins for jenkins however it's not create all the all the plugins so we have to check whether the plugins are required uh, plugins are there or not some maven plugins if it is not there then it is present in the available tab we will search for this so maven so maven integration it is there that means it is not installed so we will select this one and uh, let's check any other maven invoker should also be yes so we will create uh, we will select these two and install this one because these are not installed by default so just install without restart so probably it will take time meanwhile we will uh, create a pom file now okay in the remote repository so i have already logged in in the remote repository so go to the repository create a new repository and just put the name maven okay so this is the repository and it should be public so just create this repository so it is created now or create a new file so put the file name pom.xml okay so first we will uh, write the project then model version as i told model version and it should be set to 
and then group id you can put any name any group id as per your project name i'm putting com dot my company dot app and then artifact id artifact id is nothing but a project name so my app i am putting the project name is my app then version put 1.0 okay and then finally we'll close project so project okay so this is the file which I, we have written pom.xml okay so just click over here just double check uh, yeah it's all fine now so okay i will integrate it with uh, jenkins so first let's check now it's uh, still installing so just wait for so yeah it is installed now so i always recommended to restart the jenkins when do you uh, if any new plugins you have installed then you have to restart it so i will restarting the i will restart this jenkins as it's a restarting now okay so asking password i have already configured the password as well during the installation of jenkins okay so now you can you are able to see that maven project earlier it was not there now you are able to see so before that before creating any project just we have to configure the uh, tools so global tools configuration man plugins all already we have installed now global tool configuration and then go to maven so just put the name over here required maven Okay. and the version is this fine so this this is the version basically maven version we have already uh, installed the maven version over here okay so this is the basically apache maven 3.8.6 we have installed so 3.8.6 version in there okay so apply and save it okay now create a project maven project okay we'll select the maven project and then click okay so this project is now create created so we'll configure it okay so what we will do we are using the gate okay github so we'll just click over here and then uh, put the repository url so repository we have already created so we will get the url from here just click on code and then copy it and paste over here but it will give the error why because git is not installed in the Jenkins server so it will not integrate it will give the error let's click now yes so it is giving the error so what we will do we will install the git okay so this is the Jenkins server so we'll install the git so yum install git hyphen y it will hardly take two minutes only yeah it is installed now so completed so now the error should go configure error has gone okay just double check so error has gone okay no error now so earlier it was given because it was smart install and here the credential it is asking if you create a repository private repository it is i have created a public repository 
remember it it is a public okay maven repository which i have created under this repository i have created a pom file okay but if you select the uh, private then it will be de definitely it will be take uh, take a charge to from from you and you have to provide some credential over here so as it is a public so credential is not required okay and uh, here build pom.xml is also there so just goals clean package if already package is there then uh, it will clean okay so now apply and save right And just build it first time it will take a time sometime because they are downloading some so this is what the our IP uh, project name app Okay, so now it is success. So that means our POM file, which we have created in the remote repository. Okay, so it is integrated with the Jenkins and we have executed through Jenkins and it is now built successfully. Okay, so what was the uh, name of the project? It is showing over here. So the lot of things has been downloaded. So this is the um, project project name. Okay, and the project ID. Arti this is the artifact ID you can say and this is the uh, group ID okay and version 1.0 which which we have mentioned so it is now built successfully okay so let's discuss about the super POM as well so the super POM is a Maven's default POM all POMs extend the super POM unless expli explicitly set it means that the configuration spec specified in the super POM is inherited by the POMs when you created for your project. So basically, uh, super POM is nothing but a default POM. Okay, so we have discussed already, and we have we know how to create the uh, POM file, POM.xml file. Okay, so this is all about the POM file that we have discussed, and what are the minimal requirements and how to create the POM files that we have discussed okay all right so i hope you like this video and subscribe my channel we will meet again in the next video if you have any any questions please uh, leave them in the comment section i will try my best to answer all your queries till then thank you